Hi there, I'm Michael from Virtual Shape Research and I want to present you some of the new functionalities of our upcoming Rhino plugin VSR Realtime Renderer 3.0. So the VSR Realtime Renderer display mode is active for this model, image based lighting is on, textures are applied and we also got a wallpaper in the background. I'm starting one of our new functions in version 3 which is the Variant Manager. What we see is a pretty big, mostly empty function window. I'm creating a new variant by pressing the plus button in the top left corner. Now we have the first line filled with a new variant which consists of a preview icon showing the scene at the moment the variant was created, the default name of the variant which can be changed, a visibility switch to decide whether or not to set the height show state of the geometry, a material check marker which controls if the material assignments for this variant should be taken into account again, a view option which determines if the view of this variant should be restored. It is followed by a pop-up containing all named views of the model. This means you can choose to reference a different view to this variant if you like to. The environment switch controls if the environment in the following pop-up should be activated. The last check marker in the line is the background option which decides if the background wallpaper or image file should be set to the one which was active when the variant was created. The option show previews allows you to display preview icons for activating variants directly in the graphic area. With the slider right beside it you can determine their size to be more or less dominant. To really see what the variant manager does we need to apply some new materials. I'm using the assign layer option as it is difficult to reach the bubbles via drag and drop as they are behind the glass. For the rest of the geometry I can use the drag and drop functionality. Don't blame me for the colors, I'm not a designer. Once the materials are assigned I can use the right mouse button on the function icon to directly create a new variant. I will change the material assignment once more for a third variant. Again choosing assign layer for the bubbles. And ready is our third variant. I can now reactivate the material assignments by simply clicking on the preview icons. But as already mentioned, the variant manager can handle much more than this. It can set visibility of geometry, the view, environment and background images. So let's change the view a bit and I will hide the bush. Uh, well, let's hide the bubbles too. I will also change the wallpaper of this viewport. And the environment which is used for the image based lighting and reflection. Alright, let's create a variant from this. And as you see, all changes have been saved and can be restored. The command line of this function can be used for another nice feature. By typing VSR variant, you can see the command line options and their shortcuts of this command. You can see that there is a switch next variant and switch previous variant. Knowing this, I can put these function calls on a shortcut key. I've set these shortcuts on my F4 and F5 key. So I'm switching off my preview icons and activate the full screen mode. Now I can use my full screen width for the model display and I'm still able to jump forward and backward between my variants.
for version 3 of our real-time renderer, we also reworked our snapshot command. You can choose to snapshot the current real-time renderer view or add ray tracing, which is, by the way, also available in Rhino directly via our VSR display mode. You have also the choice to snapshot just the current viewport or all variants or all views using the current variant of your model. This is especially useful when rendering several views or variants with ray tracing, which may take a while. So I hit apply to snapshot all variants of my model. Please note that I could close the snapshot command and go on working in Rhino without having to wait for the progress bar to be finished. The snapshot command has finished and I can find pictures of all my variants on my desktop. Another new function is the pack session command. It asks for a directory, which I will create on my desktop. Pressing OK and looking into that directory, I will find not only my 3DM file, but also all reference textures, wallpapers, background bitmaps and environment HDRs. This is very useful if you want to use your scene on another computer or send it to a customer. This is the majority of the new features. Interactive ray tracing directly in the Rhino graphic will be demonstrated in a separate video. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration and thank you for watching.